how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Today, we're going to be completing the last three and four sections of the wall. The initial base layer of the wall in this episode. It's going to last like the first seven minutes or so will be time lapse. And after the first seven minutes, you guys can watch the beginning of the Iron Golem farm that we are going to be building right off the bat in the base. Tutorials, walkthroughs, and everything will be in this video, guys. So we get started on the um, the Iron Golem farm today. Uh, I think I place down all of the chests. I start out all of the hoppers, all of that. So keep in tune, guys. Just keep watching it. Uh, you guys wanted the time lapse, and you guys, the comments yesterday were just basically simply amazing. And you guys are just basically supporting this entire new base build idea. So um, as this video continues, you guys might be realizing that I have only one initial layer of obsidian in this farm so far, or in this uh, F home so far. And um, you guys are probably like, well, that'll be easy to raid. It's only one layer. And uh, the reason reason why there's only one wall right now is because uh, Insanity has been busy with school and he hasn't been able to build the two and three, the second and third layer of the walls. And then uh, I zero and Snicks have, haven't been online all weekend, so they haven't really been able to assist me with the walls. But we will be all be getting together very, very shortly to finish up these tasks as quick as possible, almost as fast as uh, the actual base building process is that we had last time. And uh, yeah, like a seven minute uh, time lapse is about 30 minutes or not even 30 minutes, maybe like 45 minutes of actual recording time. So it's not too bad. Um, all this stuff is time lapse. Uh, you guys can see if you guys are watching the chat very, very closely, like during these time lapses, I'm like fully interacting with the community. I, I just enjoy talking to every single one of you guys, like listening to all your comments, like a bunch of you guys are saying how you hate the Allegiance clan or the Allegiance faction for raiding us. No, there's no hard feelings, guys. We are playing in a factions world, so it's fine if they raided us it's all in good fun i mean that's what we're here to do we're playing factions to raid people and to have fun at the same time so no hard feelings guys um i actually do think that strafe raided their base yesterday and uh he gave me he gave me a little confirmation that he found their base and raided it and got revenge for me so quick shout outs to them uh to the rest of god squad i was gonna do it myself but i was just like man go ahead just do it so they got raided already i'm pretty sure i'm not sure exactly what they lost uh i'll have to talk to or message strafe later and see what they got out of the raid. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the time lapse, guys. After the time lapse, once again, there will be the start of the Iron Golem tutorial. If you guys are enjoying the music, make sure you check out the links in the description below if you guys are interested in downloading or listening uh, to any of the music once again. Thank you, guys. We will see you guys in the next portion of the video. Hope you enjoy the music, and we will see you guys later.
Alright guys, we are back, and as you guys just saw in that time lapse right there, um, basically we're done with the very, very, just the first initial layer of obsidian around our base. So we've got an area closed off right now. Am I still in Vanish? B list? I am not. The server is just lagging. Holy crap. There it goes. Alright, so what we're going to do is, as you guys may have seen at the very end of the time lapse, I did open a hole right here. And what we're going to do, I'm going to do with this hole is, I really want on all four sides of this obsidian, is going to be, it's going to be probably three or four blocks thick, just to try to prevent some TP glitches. Um, I've marked this out and I've, I, I have like a, um, what's it called, I have a Skype chat with, with the people in Sanctum, like all of my, my family in Sanctum. And we kind of just talk about how we're planning to do the base, so as you guys saw, I bought a ton of of obsidian on that freaking time lapse right there why genix sold me like an entire inventory and then some so quick shout outs to you man thank you for selling every single one of you guys who sold us obsidian we're going to be continuing to buy them and um i actually have if i can show where did i put it i don't remember i have 52 monster spawners here and it just says monster spawners because the, the silk touch plugin is down but uh once once i place this down this will turn into an iron golem spawner it's just mislabeled right now because the spawner plugin is broken so the thing is the thing about this spawner plugin right now guys is it's currently broken so if you try to silk touch a spawner it's not gonna work but if you have or if you buy a spawner from the shop and place it down for the first time it will spawn correctly so keep that in mind guys the spawner plugin is still broken but but what I want to do today is we're going to make our first iron golem farm in this room. So I really just kind of want to mark out everything and how exactly I want everything in this room. So, well, let's. I'm going to kind of imagine this as uh, 20 blocks up, I guess you could say. So uh, the first spawner would be above this area right in this spot because it's going to be two. Actually, it's going to be in this spot right here. It's going to be two away from each wall on each side and it'll be nice and efficient. We'll spawn the most and then uh, so that'll just go straight up and I imagine a spawner way up there. So I'm kind of just imagining, I'm giving you guys the thought processes that I go through when I'm making uh, these types of spawners and I actually have to go uh, 20, let's go 18 blocks. I'm not really sure exactly what the dimensions are. We'll go 18 blocks away from the wall. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here's the 20 blocks. As you can see, this spawner room is going to take up a lot of room, but that's it's going to be worth it, very, very, very worth it in the in the future. So we're just going to go ahead and place a bunch of chests down. I really, I actually do have to make some uh, some trap chests. I haven't done that yet, but I will be doing so in the very very near future so i think this is going to be my iron collection chest now you guys are like why is he putting it against the wall it's because actually what we're going to do is we're going to put oh i need trap chest don't i i have to go make some trap chest uh how do i do that again uh trap chest i think it's just i just need a a trip wire hook and then to make a trip wire hook i need iron ingots a stick and a plank okay so let's go make some of that warp shop all right, so I need planks and I need oak wood. So let me turn those into planks. And then I need some of these planks to go into here. And then I need iron ingots. All right, let me buy some. So I don't have an iron golem farm right now. Obviously, this is why I'm buying the iron ingots. And uh, we're going to need to make a bunch of trap chests. So I think we're going to probably need about, uh, let's say... We'll start out with a stack. We'll just buy a stack of iron ingots really quickly right here. Show you guys how to make the trap chest if you guys haven't known. Just like nice simple Minecraft techniques and to do all that jibber jabber. So we're going to go ahead. Do I have a stack yet? Perfect. Slash workbench. Um, Alright, so iron ingot goes on top. You got a stick in the middle and then you have this. And then you got your trip wire hooks right there. So I made two stacks of trip wire hooks. I actually might want to... Um, Let's, let's actually make more of this. We'll, we'll make our chest, so slash workbench again. We'll make more chests. Let's see if we can get a stack of chests going here. Uh, there we go, there we go. So we're, then we're gonna use these chests. So there we go, we have 32 chests. And then to make a uh, tra trap chest, all you have to do is take a normal chest like so, and then put it with a tripwire hook, and then you have yourself a trap chest. So we're just gonna ho go ahead, keep that. Oops, no, take that, pick that back up. Did I get it? I'm not sure if I picked it up. But I'm just going to grab some wood in case I do need it again. I'll go slash back. And then this is going to be our, as I was saying, this is going to be our wall. So there's going to be chests going from this side of the base all the way to that side of the base. So it's going to be very, very space consuming. And obviously, if you guys have a smaller base, 
Uh, you guys don't have to make your chest collection area this big. I'm just choosing to do so because obviously I want to be able to collect as much iron ingots as I can. I can AFK overnight. And then Snix usually takes the time to sell the iron ingots for me. And we all just kind of share money. And uh, so, yeah, this is what we're going to do. I'm kind of making out the initial chest area first. And then we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll explain to you guys the dimensions. I've had a couple of... I've had... A nice amount of um, you know explanation videos on how to make all this stuff in the past videos so uh, I'm not sure if you guys really want to know all of that stuff but if you do uh, you kind of just have to listen along it's pretty easy the iron golem spawner is probably the most profitable yet one of the most easiest things to build and it's probably one of your best bets if you guys are wanting to uh, invest in something of this sort so we're going to go ahead and put trap chests. So if you guys can imagine, this is going to be our walkable base area over here. Like all of our storage chests we can have here. Uh, we can probably expand the base even a little further that way. But this room is going to be straight up all iron ingots. All of this is going to be iron ingots here. So all of these chests here that you guys see will be collecting iron ingots once this farm is done. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and... Oh man, I'm going to have to move all those chests at the end. We're going to go ahead and continue to make our little chest wall here. And then we can go ahead and put and continue this little farm. So um, what, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to try to save myself some time. And um, I'm only going to put like one layer of a... What's it called? I'm going to put one layer of hoppers on this side so that means that there's going to be only one hopper layer going across this top that will be collecting the iron ingots themselves and that makes it so that i can have like a storage room even on the back side of this uh little farm to save myself some room you know uh be able to put some stuff away and uh just all of that good stuff so i'm gonna have to move these chests like i was saying so just bad planning on my part didn't really think i had that far uh do i have an axe I need an axe. God dang it. Oh, I gotta break down these chests. I need to make more trap chests as well, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to pause. I'm not exactly sure how long it will take me to make this video, so this this Iron Golem tutorial video, not really a tutorial video, kind of just like an update video of to, as to what I'm doing. It will probably be in like a two or three part episode. We're not really, I'm not really 100% sure what I'm planning on doing yet, but what's it called? Uh, you guys seem to be enjoying the time lapses. Are you guys enjoying the music, the kind of music? I mean, there's only a certain amounts of, or certain types of music I can play during a time lapse. So hopefully you guys don't mind it. It's uh, really, really fun and nice to listen to music sometimes and just to look at the nice speed building of uh, D Field over there. But yeah, Insanity's in school right now, so this is why he's not really helping me build as of late. Uh, he's just really busy with volleyball and then I've got school as well. So I'm just trying to find the best times for me to record and then I kind of just go from there. But I'm going to have him and the rest of the faction do the rest of the, the block placing on the outside, which won't be too big of a problem. This looks like a nice, decent chest wall. How many blocks is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we're going to make this six, 20 blocks are this way and then 16 blocks this way. That should be a nice sized uh, farm for an iron golem farm. So that'll be really, really good. We can. I just need two more chests. Uh, let me do this real quick. One, two. Actually, I need four. Four more trap chests, and this should be good to go. Is this 15? I, f I just missed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Am I miscounting this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I need two more. Two more rows right here, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Uh, I could actually put these chests down. Uh oh, that chest went the wrong way. Whatever. I wish I had an axe. I lost all my tools. I lost my storage area. I lost all of that good stuff. So we're gonna have to. Oh, I do have an axe in here. I remember. There we go. It's not exact. It's not exact. Exactly. What is? There's stuff in here. What? Oh, I have a bunch of wood in there. What the heck? I didn't even. Oh, it's probably uh, the Pelator. I remember he was working on this base this morning. That's probably why. All right, let's put this back in my e chest. And this is going to be the 14th one here, and then one more row. So I'm going to need, just going to make uh, 12. Oops, I misclicked one. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, so this is going to be our iron ingot collection area. So this is going to, nice and simple, that's all you have to do. It doesn't really have to be this big. It really depends on how much room you guys have. Um, and, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to the warp shop again, and I'm going to buy some hoppers. 
Whoop shop, did I spell that wrong? Where's the hoppers? There we go. I'm gonna buy all these hoppers. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna need that many. So how we do this is, um, so on this chest area, you want the very top layer to point into the topmost chest, like so. So the very, very top area is just gonna point into the topmost chest like this. So we are currently making, if you guys are wondering, we're currently making the hopper system that will be collecting the iron ingots. So this is uh, what we're gonna be doing from here. Now in this portion, uh, I'm probably just going to finish off this portion and we'll continue on the next video with uh, the rest of the farm. But uh, after that, you're basically going to uh, repeat that pattern all the way down. So this is how this is going to work is the iron ingots are going to filter into this top one. Once this can no longer hold any more items, it will basically flow into this bottom one and then start filling this and then all the way down all the way to the bottom. I might be I might actually be talking about this uh, in the wrong aspect. Like I think it might fill up the bottom chest before it fills up the top chest. I think that's actually right. So uh, the bottom chest get filled up first before the top chest it starts to move up into its little assembly. So it's not, it's not a heart of a mechanism. It's not really a redstone mechanism that you need anything special for. Uh, you can do some improvements like I did in my last farms where you can um, basically make a small redstone mechanism that kind of sorts all the flowers out. But that's not really necessary. It's not really needed, and we're not gonna need. We're not gonna put that in our farm just to uh, save ourselves some food. I see sloth food here spamming me with hashtag marks minion so we're gonna go ahead and end see him is is it lagging in see sloth food did he end see sloth there we go he's got one stack i'll pay him pay sloth food 30k thank you sir so yeah i have been buying a lot of obsidian snicks has been working hard uh working on her last obsidian as well so yeah Okay, so on the very top layer, the very last portion of the iron ingot collection hopper system, all you're going to need to do is take a row of uh, hoppers like so and just connect them to each other. Make sure the spout is facing towards all the chests, and then you're just going to make this all the way to your wall. So uh, how big your farm is, it really all depends. If I'm making a huge, massive farm, so you guys are probably like, why is he spending so much money to make this farm? It's because I want a nice, full, efficient iron golem farm. And uh, to make that 100% efficiency, we will be discussing that in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and finish off this hopper section right here. Oops. And then after I do so, we will go ahead and uh, end the video right here. And then we can continue on with our Iron Golem build in the next Factions Let's Play video. So as you guys can see, very, very easy, very, very nice and quick. All you got to do is right and shift click and then place hoppers. And you guys will be on your way to becoming a nice, rich, powerful faction. So if you guys are wondering how I am financing all of my obsidian purchases right now, what the heck? how I am fa financing all of my uh, obsidian purchases right now is because my entire faction all together like Snix is holding like f I think 350 or 400 million because she AFKs all night so if you guys remember our old base like those chests were filled every night and then she would go ahead and sell iron ingots like throughout the entire day like she's just a nice dedicated uh, supporter of uh, the faction and she loves to collect all our money she's like the secretary she holds or she's the treasurer she holds all the money and keeps track of all that stuff so she's got about I think 350 or 400 million I've got about another 150 million after all I've spent on spawners and um, What's it called? Spawners and Obsidian. I, I still have a lot. I'm not exactly sure. I think Pelator has about 15 or 20. And then I'm not sure how much Insanity has. I, I don't even know. I, I haven't checked in a while. I'm not sure if he's been selling stuff or whatnot. I'm not sure exactly what Mark and I Zero have as well. But I'm pretty sure they're in the millions. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody in our faction who plays actively is in the million so yeah this is gonna be a lot of hoppers guys but as I as you guys saw I did place a buy 64 hopper sign in the shop just to give it uh, make it easier for the rest of the people who are ever needing this many hoppers for a variety of different um, a variety of different little spawner rooms you can have that may uh, actually did I where did those go I just had it I bought slash back I bought the, the hoppers Oh, I'm buying, god dang it, I'm buying the freaking name tags, there we go. Okay, Casey Jones has a stack of obsidian, I'll go ahead, okay, he doesn't, what the heck, he's lying, he's lying. Alright, go we'll go ahead and ignore that chat right there. Uh, boop, 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 so we are finishing off, once again, this little 
cobble not cobblestone hopper layer and this will be basically be the layer that will be collecting uh all of the iron ingots and funneling them into our collection chest so yeah this is it for today's video guys we'll go ahead and continue the rest of our iron golem farm in the next video if you guys enjoyed today's time lapse and today's start of our iron golem farm make sure you guys hit that like button it really does show the, the amount of support that you guys uh basically show for this series so thank you guys for watching today's episode we will see you guys tomorrow and hope you guys enjoy and we will see you guys later